Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. It, it must be time for a moon message. Today is the waning gibbous moon in Aquarius, and this reading is for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node Aquarius. Holy Spirit, angel guides, spirit guides, what is the full moon message for Aquarius? Hi, Aquarius. Thank you for stopping by the channel. Let's see what spirit has to say for you. For the full moon, the full moon's a time of letting go, releasing, anticipating something new. You just realize it's time for a new beginning. But there's that requirement of letting go of the past, walking away. Mm. It's very difficult for two energies to exist in one place. One always takes precedence. And so, yeah, I see you thinking about your next move. I felt that, Aquarius. You're on the move. <laughs> you are on the move. I, I see you like you're planning, plotting very intentional you are really focused on what your next step is where you're headed um, and that's where your focus should be that should be the motivator N seeing something ahead uh, your wish your dream your a miracle a new start you see that and your focus laser focused on it okay what else I know Spirit already said, shut up, Moody, and get the cards on the table. Just shut up. Okay. Oh, so you're evaluating something. Should I invest more into this? Mm. Or somebody's evaluating their investment into you, into a situation. You're excited. So I see that you're wishing on something and you're getting ready to take action. Although it may be a small step ahead, every step counts, Spirit says. That's right. Okay, Moody, shut up and get the cards on the table. Yes. It, oh, he just said, you always ask me what is the message, but you don't put no cards on the table, lady. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Aquarius, there you go. Looking pretty. Queen of Swords, upright, meditative. Mm. Okay. So, um, again, I do see somebody evaluating their next step. They're excited about it, feeling happy. The Page of Wands um, is, you know, throwing wind, throwing caution to the wind. And look at her, young, youthful, you know, all the hopes, desires. This is about restarting something that you hope for a new start but I think it's a new start after some type of lack where love was concerned maybe a relationship didn't work out maybe you just yourself don't feel that you've taken care of yourself correctly um or maybe you had some missteps where love was concerned regarding self, regarding relationships, just love in general, right? And so now you're reevaluating that next step before you actually set out and take it. Because this is all about actions. When the Nine of Wands is here, you know that the end of this cycle is very close. You know that you've learned a lot. And you're prepared to take the lessons to move forward. Yeah, I see you moving forward. Not wanting to be at the same place, the same by the end of the year. 
right? Needing some major change to occur, right? Yes, that's what I'm feeling. And the nine of wands is just recognizing where you came from and the need to let go of all of those challenges, all of the challenges, though, that made you wiser. You know, they added to you in that. Yeah, you may not have gotten love through them, but you sure understand the definition of love. You also understand, Aquarius, that love starts with you, your own cup. Um, doing a better job, making healthy choices that heal your emotions. And once they're healed, it elevates them. Your emotions begin to rise. I feel like a spark is emerging inside of you. It's small, but it's headed in the right direction. When you evaluate where you're headed, right, after you let go of the past, just taking the lessons and letting the drama remain, you're focused on where you're headed. I know you're focused because you opened up with the magician. This magician is very, very focused. <laughs> very focused to the point that their focus is generating all of this energy. Energy that they're harnessing and going to use that, right, in whatever their wish investment is it could be a person it could be a thing it could be an objective right but it's new it's a change after experiencing a setback but realizing that all of those setbacks made you wiser that's what this whole reading is about your wisdom you've become very wise and now this time around where love is concerned you know that you're the most important person, that everything starts with you, everything stops with you. You control you. I think that is an epiphany. It's like, wow, I have the power. And that's what I see you coming into the end of this month. You have the power, right, to change whatever it is that you feel like you don't want to no longer to invest in, right? You don't, you've outgrown it, quite frankly. But I feel that this full moon, it's called a harvest moon. So you're able to muster the strength to step into your harvest for yourself, realizing that you control that, right? You have all along, but now you understand your power. And I think you're ready to use it. All about taking action, action, um, success after defeat, the nine of wands. Look at you. So self-assured. Yes, that you're moving in the right direction. It's, and Spirit said, you, you know, he sent me here to tell you. Some of you came here for confirmation on this. Well, here it is. You know, no more feelings of abandonment. Because you're in the driver's seat. You're in control. You understand that you don't have control over anybody else, but you do have control over you. And you control everything that happens in your life, right? Well, not everything 100%, but how you react to it for sure. A lot of it, a lot of what happens in your life is under control, your control. And how you react to everything is is 100% your control. Okay, Spirit. Talk about this Nine of Wands. Reverse. Yeah. You weren't... Hmm, you weren't victorious. Right? You weren't... Um, this was a learning curve. Not one where you saw a lot of physical movement, but you do see a lot of spiritual movement, chariot reverse, right? Physically, this wasn't about, you know, you making, you know, sometimes we re, we reflect back on our life and feel like we didn't make any progress, like nothing changed, not at all. You changed. This was to change you, not to address everything around you, everyone around you, but to focus you back on you. This was all about self-development. Whatever it is, it this Queen of Cups reverse, 
self-development changed you, you wouldn't be where you are had you not gone through that. Mm. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was to let you know your possibilities, um, to make you rely more on yourself, self, yeah, like self-preservation, uh, understanding the importance of you, to understand your power, definitely about you developing strength, having the courage to do what lies before you, mm. and then... Once you actually step out and become the king or queen of wands, look at how confident you are. When you sit back and you pass judgment on where you were, where you currently are, and your next move, you're kind of satisfied. So you go from a state of feeling that you haven't been worthy, you haven't made progress, you haven't to feeling totally satisfied. Look at her. She's content. Her sword is down. You know, she's very contemplative. She's not feeling anxious. Birds up ahead. You know, what a turnaround. Letting go and allowing something new into your life. What a turnaround it can have on your emotions, on your finances, on your balance, your overall (sighs) prosperity, spirit said, right? Your overall health, just you, all about you, all about you. Tell me more for Aquarius. Five of Pentacles. Why is Five of Pentacles up here in the future energy? Really the last card. So you go from the Magician to the Five of Pentacles. The last first card is Magician. Last card is Five of Pentacles. And Aquarius has the Nine of Wands at the center, meaning they've overcome a lot and understand why they had to go through that to get to where they are now feeling like they have an opportunity for things to move forward why is this five of pentacles here empress reverse taurus energy hmm Because something comes back to challenge you you know whenever there's a lesson there's always a test I don't know how it appears, but this Empress Reverse and the Five of Pentacles, they want to take away the power. Somebody doesn't want you to know how powerful you are. Mm, This way they can keep you where they want you. But notice, there's a key right here. You always have the power. That's what Spirit said. There's a key here, but if you lift your head up, you'll see it. Yeah, just be aware. Stay in this Queen of Swords energy, aware of everything and everyone around you and what their purpose is for being there because there's always a reason, okay? Somebody wants to draw you back into a submissive mindset or thinking that you're not going to make it, you can't do it, you don't have it, Mm mm-mm. (laughs) Mm -mm. that's what spirit is saying no it's a test it's a test because you were just sitting too pretty here too relaxed like you had it all together okay people are so rather than them focusing on their lives their ace of cups building themselves up they're clocking you Aquarius Mm. trying to see where this newfound energy that you're emitting comes from. Yes. Ooh, Father of Wands. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, now that you know this, I see you kind of remaining balanced. Whatever is up ahead, you have three Kings of Wands here for different from different decks. Um, I don't see... It's just like a a speed bump, whatever this is up ahead. It's a speed bump. You hit the brakes for a minute and then you coast over it. I do not see this really causing a major interruption because whatever happened, 
as challenges. They really cemented the fact that you have to depend on you. No one else is going to help you. And that you have everything within you to achieve whatever it is you are focused on. Yes, and, and you are the return on your investment. Oh, I love this. Say it. Say it because the queen, king of wands is no joke. He is about creating something. Nothing stops him. No fear, you know, no second thoughts. And you're like crystal clear with the queen of swords. You have this clarity. You can see through walls. You can. You can see beyond what is seen with the physical eye at this point. There's some type of spiritual elevation. Hmm. Tell me regarding love specifically. Now that Aquarius is working on filling up their own cup and I see the King of Wands appears, the Queen of Swords. Things are so clear now. Had you not gone through what you went through, you wouldn't have the clarity that you're going to have at the end of this month going into October. The page turns. The page turns. Yeah. Yeah. Look at these shoes. Walk a mile in someone else's shoes. Maybe you get to experience what they went through or they get to experience what you went through. What else? This is somebody who knows, feels like you do. who In love, right? I said, tell me what's going on with Aquarius in love and Right, this is somebody you two feel the same because maybe your walk has been the same, your journey has been the same. And they have the key too. Remember, there was another key where you were feeling locked, cut off, locked up, abandoned. But they have the key that opens that door. Mm. King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sag, Energy, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody sparks your passion for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you. Okay. Didn't I say that with the Seven of Pentacles, a work in progress? And that you came into this feeling like you had not made enough progress. Leaving, knowing your power, what you're capable of, that's progress. And, and then you fill up your own cup and you're ready because <laughs> I see love. Somebody comes in. Romance comes in. And you know, with an Aquarius, they talk, they communicate, they're very social. So um, this is somebody, the Father of Wands is very social. Um, you like them. You're definitely thinking upon the type of love you want. And that you want somebody who's been around the block. Somebody who's experienced that life and love. Somebody who defines love the way you define it now. Oh, I like that. Right, right, right. No mind games, no manipulation, none of what you had in the past. As soon as you see that, you're headed the other way. But I don't think that this person comes with that. Why? Because they've experienced some of the same things that you've gone through, Aquarius. No, I know it's different this time because you definitely have made progress. If you doubted it before you came here, know <laughs> that don't question that. Move forward in confidence, with courage, be alert, and um, cut anybody off that comes with any mind games, any foolishness, anybody who questions you on you. You know, people always want to get in your business. No, no, no. Don't ask me about me. What about you? Right? Yeah. You are a work in progress continue continue things go to continue with everything that you have come to terms with as of the end of this reading 
You know, you end on the Queen of Swords and not letting anybody take this feeling away from you. You've earned it. You've progressed to this point and going forward, they may test you, but I see you maintaining that the father of wands is still determined, still after their goals and objective, even after hitting a speed bump. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and uh, share the video if you think it'll help somebody. Hit the notification bell, hit the notification bell, hit the notification bell. You know, we're all a work in progress, and I pray on my progress daily. I try to um, keep my spirits high, and it's working. You should try it. I always say I'm going to pray for you, but let's pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I've been praying that prayer a lot, of course, through all my readings for you guys, keeping you in prayer, but also for myself. And you try it and tell me if you don't see a positive change in your life. All right, Aquarius? Until the next moon phase, namaste.